Okay, welcome. So installing Python is relatively simple. I'm going to install Anaconda, which is a distribution of Python which comes with several ad additional libraries, including NumPy, a library I use quite frequently. So if you go to your favorite web browser and type in Anaconda download, and the very first link should be Anaconda Python or R distribution, and if you click that, go to download. If you're using 32-bit windows or 64-bit windows, you just click on the required link and we let it download, open when it's done, and we will wait for this to happen. Once it's downloaded, you'll get this welcome to setup menu. Uh, you will notice as well that you can have Mac OS or Linux versions of Anaconda. There's also Python 2.7, but Python 3, 3.7 is the latest version of Python and I would always recommend sticking to that. So now that that is downloaded, we can close this out and then continue with our setup. And you have to agree. Uh, I'm going to allow all users So on this menu, you don't actually need to change anything. Just click install, and it will, should happen relatively quickly. It's not a very large package. So a couple of minutes later, it should complete. And then we just go next, next. I don't want to learn about any of this. So I know how to use Anaconda. And I'm going to just finish, and it should be installed. If for some reason, the download doesn't happen automatically when you download it, if you go to your files, downloads, it should be there. If you just double click on that, it will run the installation itself. If you don't want to use Anaconda and you just want Python, you can always go to Google and type Python 3.7 download and go to the python.org website and you will have, in fact, they've increased to Python version 3.8 now but you can click on these, or if you want specific versions of Python, you can download any of these, and the download process is very similar. Once you've downloaded Python or Anaconda, you should be able to, just in your search bar, type idle. And as I say that if you type idle, it should come up in the search menu of Windows. Apparently that is not the case, it used to. Uh, if you are, wanting to find idle then you can go to your programs it will be in the place where you downloaded it so for me local disk program data you will then find anaconda free at the top you then want to go to scripts and then in here you should see if you search for it idle the application and you can of course create a shortcut and if you drag that to the desktop you will be able to double click on the shortcut anytime and you will get the python shell which is idle and then you can start your creating your new files and go from there hopefully this has been useful thank you for listening